Well, guys, look, it's always been a dream of mine to host Sean's fishing show. <laughs> um, you can catch him every Sunday at 4 p.m. Oh, he's a good fish. Oh, that's a real good fish. I have to go for a big slimy, mate. Like most of my fishing adventures, this one started in the wee hours of the morning, traveling down the coast to my good mate Shauno's place. Now what was I doing hooking up the mighty Pajero to his boat? Well, Shauno was concerned that none of his toy cars would have enough grunt to tow it. At least, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. After a quick pack, it wasn't long before we were dumping the boat in the water, jumping aboard, and cruising out the bar of the mighty Tweed River. Conditions were looking ideal as we set our course for the first set of marks. Live bait, our ticket to so hopefully some big kingies later on. Well, we're just stopping to get some liveies, guys. We, um, I don't really have a really kind of specialised plan of attack for today. We're just kind of making sure we're covered for all bases. So we thought on our way down, we may as well stop and get some liveies. And uh, we, we, <laughs> it's, it's not taking that long, so that's that's a good thing. Oh, all right. That's that's how you do it. That's a new one, mate. With about 10 to 15 quality live baits in the well, it was time to find some fish to eat them. Well, morning guys, and thanks for tuning in. Another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. It's right on the cusp of teeing off. Joined today, and I say joined today because I towed his boat here, so <laughs> technically Sean's joining me. But the, the great Sean Whale is with us. And look, we don't really have a big game plan for today, do we? We're just going to catch some fish on it. We just want to kick some ass and take some names. We're, um, we've got a tank full of liveys, as you saw. Uh, we've got some jigging rods. We've got some soft plastics. We've even got a few stick baits here and there. And look, the, the, the water is our oyster. <laughs> we are just keen to get some bendage. I reckon kingies, maybe a snapper. Who knows? Either or, I'm not fussy actually. I'll take, take anything that comes along to be honest mate. Yeah, so we're, we're a bit bound by a weather window, so we do have to keep that in mind today. It, it is meant to go a bit bit gnarly after lunch, but tell you what, it looks pretty decent now, so we're going to enjoy it. Hopefully show you a few fish. Cue Sean and I hooking up in the background. Yeah, I wish. Go on. Well, there's plenty showing on the sander. I'll, I'll show you the sander in a second. And um, yeah, we're just going to go about our business and hopefully we can find a few. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, yeah. Anything more to add, mate? No, I just, I just want to catch a fish, mate. Um, the sander is like lit up like a Christmas tree. They're, oh, they're high as well. Look at the bait. There's a lot going on here. So The buzz, the drama, the excitement, the this action. That's what it's all about. Have you got one yet or what? Oh, I haven't. I haven't, but look, I look forward to doing it. The day is early. The day is early. Look at that. Let's get into it. How is that snort? That's yeah, pretty good, eh? It's one for the ages. Yeah, it's just a good old. <laughs> that's that's a happy snort if you're wondering. What's this? They weren't. It could be a happy hook up there. How long is it going to take you to put a livey down? Yeah, not long. <laughs> I've got one six. I've got a rod rig ready to go. Can you do mine? Wait, that's like a little bommy. That's just. That's loaded with fish. I'm gonna go back and have a, have a look at that. Oh, that's worth a drop. There's just fish all around it too. Look at that. Well, for everyone who always asks to uh, see what we're looking at at the sounder, that's it. A little, uh, Little bommies on the bottom and they're covered in fish, so that's what we look for. Now, if I had to guess, I'd say that'd be kind of a sort of a snapper. They're sitting pretty high in the water column. Um, then you can see individual fish, so that's a pretty good sign that there could be some snapper around. Sure, no. Needs no. No, I'm no, straight here, mate. No injury. 
Is it introduction? That's not the word I'm looking for. No invitation. No, nah, mate. No I'm... invitation. Look, down there. There's oh. a few marks getting higher too. Oh, I, need to, I need to get a drop down. As expected. <laughs> Straight away, mate. As expected, a live bait is going down. Couldn't help yourself. Nice big live bait, too. Yeah, that's, he's happy. He's happy. Send him down. Send him down. There's a couple of fish in the sand, mate. Just wanted to make sure I know what they are. You know, this hang is on, the hang way on. to do it. B roll. B roll. Beautiful. Nice. Beautiful. Look at that poetry. Just they're right down there. They're right down near the bottom. I don't... I'm going to catch one. Well, guys, I'm sticking to a bit more traditional methods. I've got the gar sinking down on one and an oki sinking down on the other. Pretty much it's just a race to get first fish here. See, I sh shouldn't be that cocky. It's a race to catch a fish here. Of a fast retrieve on the gar. See if I can't tempt something into a uh, reaction bite. Yeah, or not. What do you got on there? Shit. Oh, he's going octo. He's seen my octopus and gone, I'm gonna go a less realistic version and see if that works. Oh, that hit. Yeah. Got him. The Oki. Yeah. I have no idea what this is. It is a little kingfish. Is it? A little kingfish has just scoffed the Oki. How cool is that? It's a little rat. A little rat a tat tat. It's always good to get first fish on the, in the boat. A tiny little rat king, but he has scoffed that little squid. Or a little Oki, I should say. Oh, yeah, good. Calm down, mate. Calm down. Calm down. We'll get this thing out of here. Look at that. Hopefully, you can see that. Oki down the hatch. Bit of surgery. Well, he's not a big king, but it's a good start. Good fun. On the little Oki as well. So, happy days. <laughs> yeah. Double hook up. Please be like a legal snapper that I can claim. So that was just Rod Rodney Rodholder jig there. Snapper, and he's also not still on the hook, but you know, it's a good start. I'm pretty sure that back down. Right, oh, seeing as we've just, uh, or not we, I just <laughs> stuffed up my filming as always. You just missed a little snapper on Shawno's rod and this kingy. 
Nice little king. Nice little king, ate the live bait. While that was happening, Shauno's Rodney rod holder went off. I got a little squire that shook off near the boat. Uh, and big release on this guy here. Oh yeah, that was a great release. So, so refined, just straight back in the water. Bang! There's heaps on the sounder though, I'm get on. Yeah, there's heaps of stuff on the sounder. Um, look, apologies, that would have been a cool little sequence of events, but like I often do, I get my on and off button really mixed up and um, yeah, look. but we'll repeat, we'll, we'll do it again. It's giving me a little bit of a, little bit of a, there you go. Oh, he's going for the under the armour stance. Yeah, just getting comfy, mate. Talk us through it, mate, talk us through it. <laughs> just thought I'd, I'd be a little bit greedy and go for two rods. Decided to put a livey down and have a go at the slow, the slow jig. Hardly even casted it. This one buckled over. Well, I think it's a, not a bad little kingy. Now, I think a lot of people at home are, are now wondering, do you often go for two rods at once or are you just, <laughs> you're just better off with one? Like, do you like uh, to focus on the one rod or do you do you don't mind I, working two at once? I'm quite capable with both, but it turns out when, when it gets really serious, just concentrate on one. That's what I'm doing here. So when you really want to get stuff done, you just put all your energy into that one rod. And that's what and I'm your doing technique. here. Exactly right. Just really pump on it and... You want to try Lean it. into it. <laughs> oh, you do. Yeah, do you got to commit, mate? Right, eh? Have you got some colour there for me? I think so. Off it comes. That's a, it's a little amberjack, is it? Or is it? Oh, I don't know. Nah. Yes. Yes. Picked it like a nose. <laughs> oh, you seen the you seen the buckle? Oh, we got friends. We got friends. Oh, look at that! All his mates followed him up. Okay, another quick sound lesson guys, that says to me that there's a lot of amberjack or members of the Siriola family, family. so that's uh, kingfish, amberjack, um, Samson fish, all that sort of stuff. See, they've come there and they've fo actually followed that fish up, so that's trademark of the, the Siriolas, they, they don't mind following their brother up. Um, give us a quick look at him, Shauna. That's a good, good little amberjack, like that'll do. Not bad, mate. Not bad. I can grab one of those on the micro jig gear, and it'd be all fun and games. That would be amazing. Jeez, when's the bite time? Because I feel like there's enough action on the screen to yeah. to warrant some hookups. That's pretty much off tap, like. Pretty confident that they're coming to a sounding like that. Bloody lovely morning. Oh! Oh! Sure! Oh no! What are you doing? Oh, done! Done like a dinner! I'll see you later, Tom. Did it get you back in? Do you want to talk? I feel like you want to talk about it. Really, to be honest with you. Didn't go so well. Yeah, just got, just got me. That's, that's the long and short of that one. Yep, that wasn't even not. That's just, that's just done. Done like a dinner. Good jig though. Yeah. Yeah. Probably the only one you had. Yeah, no. Nah. Beautiful. Well, Sean, I was chucking another livey on in the background there. I've opted to join the jigging brigade. And Chuck, this is a little 40 gram kind of micro jig style. Uh, Shauno, you would have just seen, got smoked on one before. Um, yeah, it was as funny as it looked. <laughs> <laughs> no denying it. 
Um, so yeah, the plastics haven't worked as well, but I'll get this guy down and see if I can't turn something up. There's plenty of fish there. I think we're just gonna have to wait for them to come on or or something. So, oh, you, you, no, that's all right. You, 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 you talk over me. Go, on, chuck it in. What's your two cents? Oh, it's a very lively slimy I've got. Just letting you know. It's <laughs> very important. It came to my head, so I had to say it. <laughs> there you go. You heard it first, guys. The liveliest slimy we've had today is is going down. Now, nah, Sean has dropped the bigger bigger bait down just to see if we can kind of sort through the smaller fish to uh, find something a bit bigger. And um, look, I'm downsize to see if I can find a small fish just just something just get on the board just something hey I was first on the board you gotta be size mate before it counts That's oh you're right mate you're yeah, right but yeah we're uh we've been lured into a false sense of security with the weather right now it's absolutely lovely but there's a uh, supposedly 20 to 30 knots of southerly coming through later on this afternoon so look well it might look fun and fine and dandy now i don't think it's going to stay like that all day so we're going to have our fun probably catch a i'm going to catch like a really big cobia or something oh no was that the there's a slimy is that the slimy doing that though no i don't it's pretty well sean in the prone position ready if i could just cast Oh, big fish. Good fish. Yes. Yes, hook up. Hook up. Feel better? Yeah. Oh, not huge. Look, I'm going to have to put a live bait on, I think. This is ridiculous. Uh, that was almost instantaneous. Yeah, that's what I tried to say, instantaneous. <laughs> He's giving you some one too. Oh, like proper. Near the bottom, that's for sure. Up him. Well, guys, look. It's always been a dream of mine to host Sean's fishing show. <laughs> um, you can catch him every Sunday at 4 p.m. Oh, he's a good fish. Oh, that's a real good fish. We'll have to go for a big slimy, mate. And isn't that so often the case? You keep putting little baits down, having fun, and uh, the bigger bait is the one that's going to find the bigger fish. And then we weren't even in the bulk of the show then. But that's a, that's a serious fish. That's a take. Oh, look at, the, look at the bend. Look at the bend. I'm going to chuck this in a rod holder. Actually, I might just get it out of the way. Secretly, this is why I bring Sean O out on his uh, on his boat on these fishing trips because he does have a knack of of catching fish. Takes the pressure off me. <laughs> How fast are you gonna go grab your light bait rod? What do you mean? You're holding mine. <laughs> nah, he's spot on. I'm gonna be putting a live bait live bait down straight up. This is big. This is like really big. Might have been eaten, I think. I reckon that might have just got shark. Yeah. Oh. oh no. That's definitely sharky, I think. Probably on a marlin. Hope so. <laughs> come to the top, come to the top. Might be chasing a little bit, man. Right on. So we Well we think the king just turned into a we're think bronze whale. Oh right? yeah. Ten metres down too. Just went, got extremely heavy. You might be able to get some back on him here. Have you got something of it? Are you still one to one? Mm, no. Are you dragging? Uh, Let go? Yeah. I'm gonna give you some curry to just try and get it away from him if it's um if it's pulled out so we at least get the head back. Or are you oh no, he's still on there. Definitely there. Well, what started off as a good fish, I don't think is any longer. Man in a grey suit. Maybe if 
didn't run fairy drag on him all the whole fight there. What do you let go? So he's let go, so I'm just accelerating off it to see if we can plane it up without him grabbing it again, just so we can have a, have a look and see at the size, if we've still got something left. I don't think there's much there. Don't think there's much there. Jeez, he had a bit of line on you, didn't he? Yeah, he took off. He me on the bottom to have a little look see down there. And I've been bitten off. Ah. <sighs> Well, you can feel all that, the abrasion from the uh, the shark. Bit of wire weed, yeah, isn't it? where the kingy got me down. I felt the bottom at one stage of the fight. <sighs> well, who feels like a live bait, Riri? <laughs> I know I definitely do. That's a bugger, though. Yeah. That was a nice fish. It was a good fish. Go and dig into your tackle box. Aha. Are you fishing circular? No, two J's on a snell. J's on my feet. There's a couple, there's one made up, mate, ready to go. No, you can have it. I might go. How heavy is that leader? Do you reckon I'll need it? Hey? I think I'm fishing 80, I think. Wuss. Yeah. Alright, so I'm just whipping up a uh, quick snell rig to chuck down a live of my own and get amongst the action. Otherwise, it's just going to be a half an hour compilation of Sean catching fish with my narration over the top. And look, you know, there's there's worse things to watch. Hey mate, pretty good show if you ask me. Worse things to watch. I'm a jealous being. I like fishing. It's, it's not bad. Oh, fish. That's a bonito, we found our strip, mate. This is the Sean Whale fishing show. Kingy. All right. Sean was waiting for me to rig up my live bait outfit. Jigs up another little king on a micro jig. All right, you'll be able to see me in my four-wheel drive next week <laughs> on four-wheel drive action. You don't. Oh, is what's what have you what have you got that works at the moment? Eighty works. Just can't. Couldn't get the hitch out and tow the boat. That's all. Little kingy. Well, we're doing all the right things with the little fish. Just got to work our average with the bigger ones a bit. All right. Time to stop marking it. Yeah, I've got to sink it. Time to stop marking around. Slimy. One hook through the nose. One hook lightly pinned through his back. Easy does it there, mate. And that is an ingredient. With a bit of luck, it ends up the same as Shauna's. Minus, minus, cool. minus the old grey suit. Yeah, not get a shark. Yeah.
Are you getting in quiet already or are you on the bottom? Oh, was that an inquiry? Shauna, instantly, instantly. Done him. Still got your bait? I've got a bit lighter sinker on, so I'm gonna take a bit longer to get to the bottom here, but seems like the big slime dogs are getting a uh, bit of attention. I need much more weight, I think. Well, come on now, this isn't fair. This isn't fair at all. What are you doing to me? I don't know. Not much, it's a good fish. Yeah, it's all right. I'm not doing much, I'll tell you that much. I'm filming, that's what I'm doing, that's all I'm doing. I need to add another sinker to my equation here. It's not good sharks. Yeah. Not huge. Doesn't feel as good as the last one. Still, it's always good to hook up when you don't. That's, that's <laughs> a marvellous feeling. Ho, 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 ho. Here we go. This fishing cave, mate, it's not for everyone, but certainly it tests you. It does test you. Fishing is Well, you're right. I'm being tested right now. Lovely stuff, we'll though. sneak behind you. Probably better offer you a bit of assistance. How you going there? Hold it pretty soon, I reckon. Well, this is good. I just get to get all the pretty shots while <laughs> you make all the buddy the moves. What do you call them, Kingy or Ambo? If you had to guess, oh, I'd say small call. An Amber Kingfish. <laughs> An Amber Jack. Jack Amber. <laughs> there, a bit of colour. What is it? I think it's an Amber. Yeah, it's an yeah, Amber. Ambo. Just, just really doing its job. <laughs> just tucked in below the fin there. I'll tell you what, live baits are definitely winning today. Always the way when you don't have that many. And we had the opportunity to get a heap too. Nah, nah, nah. nah we don't need them. Just catch one gigs. If you use a live bait, you really have to. Well, I'll get, you may as well do the technique talk because yeah. whatever I'm doing isn't working. So Ambos, they're actually quite good sashimi. They're really good to eat fresh. They're quite a firm flesh. If you're going to do a curry or something like that, then uh, that would be a prime candidate. I don't, I'm not that bang up for a feed, are you? No, I just like catching them. These guys, are, they're wicked fish. They fight so hard for the size. They look cool too. Yeah, they're a cool fish. All right. Oh. And they release well. See you later. Righto. It's my time to shine, guys. More lead. Same livey. Sure no spot. <laughs> <laughs> Usually you'd wait for a bigger show than that, but I don't need it. Just getting down in the zone. Alright guys, it's my time to shine. Sammy's time as they call it in the big leagues. Here we go. Oh, truth. Truth. Gone. On and off. Oh. That was uh, a better. That was a good example. <laughs> Jeez, I can't turn a bloody trick. <laughs> that was just a good old-fashioned hook pull. That was. Should have let him have it, a bit, have it a bit more. I thought I did. All right, I'm gonna have to do this properly this time because uh, we're running out of liveies. All right, here we go. 
going to catch a kingfish? Probably it. Oh yeah, there's some fish down there. Right oh. Oh, that's a, that's a hit. That's a hit. Let him have it. Let him have it. He let go. What's going on here? Oh, I've got I've got a Oh, oh no. I've got him. Go. You had me, I think. Did I? Yep. Yeah, you definitely had me because I went weightless, then hook, hooked up, and then I lost it. Oh, this is a cluster. Is it bait? No, I don't think so. Oh, oh, your jig's probably attached to my line here somewhere. There it is. Oh, yeah! How the f does that work? Well, that was an absolute cluster. So, Shauno hooked my line on the jig. Somehow that busted him off. Then I hooked the kingy and pulled the hooks on it. Teamwork, really. This is teamwork and it's making the dream work. How yeah, does that, that even happen? He's cutting me right with the knotties. Is there often just cut your main line? Um, <laughs> Right, this is take take 15 for me. See what they're definitely a lot more willing to eat a live bait than they are to eat a jig. Here we go. Here we go. Are you f***ing serious? They're just tiny fish. Might just be small. Blah, blah, blah. I think they're just small, eh? A little bit there. The bottom, I think. Right, this is take number 457. Sam on a live boat. Got a hook up. Got a hook up. Oh, Just got to get him up off the bottom. Oh, having a go. I'll tell you what, that fish just came through and absolutely smoked it. Out of the blue. He's coming now. How to go? A big slimy. Big slimy. We've upgraded yak at a slimy. Give me a bit of a towel. No, I don't think he's that big. Oh, it's I reckon maybe Amber Jackson. Is that a shark after it? No. Oh, no, that's a nice king. Good king. There we go. Oh. That's a better one. See that subly started popping up. Yeah. Might even let you do the honours on the old tail wrap there. Yeah, I'll grab the old tail trick. 
Oh. They don't like me. <laughs> yeah. It wouldn't be the only one. Usually it's the queens that don't like you, but kings as well. Well, I don't want to call it. I'm going to call it now. I'm on the bloody board. There you go. Just the one hook in the corner there. Oh dear, watch out. That was a, um, a secret ploy just to try and jab Sean with a hook. I'll just get rid of these hooks because they're making me nervous. I'll grab this guy. That's how we do it in the biz, mate. Look at that. Well, it took me a lot longer than it should have, but I, I got one. I got one, I think it took me about eight attempts. And that's not a, not a lie at all. Oh, yeah. That's good gear. That's a good fish. You going to eat one? If you are going to eat one, this is a bit... Do you want to eat one? No, I'm, I'm heading off. Um, you're heading off. I've got plenty of fish at home, so it is this guy's lucky day. Actually, I'm going to grab a quick photo on the phone first. Just to prove to people that we can catch some fish. <laughs> no one believes me otherwise. Little kingy. It's in my... Off, off like a shot. <laughs> well, we've got two live baits left. We're going for a live bait royale. As you can probably see behind us, the wind is jacked up. So this will be our last drift. We're going to get out of here before it turns perfect storm. Uh, this is winner takes all. No, none of the previous fish matter. <laughs> generally tends to come out when you don't have many previous fish to show for your efforts. A few white caps starting to form out the back there. It's uh, it a bit earlier then. Yeah, it's meant to come up at lunchtime. It's now nine o'clock and it's it started. So yeah, like I said, this will be our last drift. We're not in the business of taking risks, especially when there's uh, cold beers back on land. Fish down there. Oh, one each. What's your Netflix suggestion for the week? Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders. Have that? I haven't seen it yet. For everyone at home, Sean Whale, the great man, has, has suggested Peaky Blinders if you're looking for something to watch. I just got into it. Unreal. I haven't seen it yet. Give us, in a nutshell, what's it about? Well, it's about 1920s English gangster sort of film. Oh yeah? It's quite cool. English and gangster don't normally go together, but... No, definitely not. No, it's really good. Really good. I've been watching, uh, I think it's season, season 8 of Meat Eater. Uh, oh, he's, he's, done a, he's done a few seasons, old Steve Ranella, but... Check out the turkey hunt. Have the you seen that one? Yeah, I've seen the whole series. Yeah. It's uh if you're into hunting and fishing, Steve Ranella, Netflix, Meat Eater. That'll um that'll change your life. It's a great show. This is all just small talk because we're not catching fish right now. We're uh we're admitting defeat on this drift. We're just gonna have one other quick drift. Uh, one more has been called for by the boss. Oh, we're going to need... We're going to need some water. Here we go, here we go, here we go. What the f*** just happened then? I think he just grabbed my bait and removed it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you wanted to know how to lose your last live bait, <laughs> that was a prime example. Got belted off, never even got a chance to free spool it into his mouth. Look at that. Bare hooks. So, Sean O 
thinks he's still got a live bait on. I think I hope. Like, all I need to do to win is just wind my live bait in. Well. Technically a fish. <laughs> Knock it off. But if Sean O can't produce on this one, it's going to go to a count back. So the last person to catch a fish <laughs> will um will take the title. Those marlin, the first. Nah. First one to hook up. Yeah. That's, oh, nib. Yeah, a little bit of a. Fingers crossed. I've lost my rod, mate. <laughs> Did it even remotely feel like it? Uh, it's just a, when you're in, in tune with the fish like I am, you just you're basically living between tides and listen to the weather patterns and the birds. I like the, the cross arm action. Surely that's got to be uncomfortable. You go like that, normally. I go like that, yeah. I ain't really interested. Oh, it's six to one, half a dozen of the other, but. And you see any fish I catch, you probably should be taking notes, mate, rather than conditioning out criticism. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I'm not, actually, I'm not, I'm not going to give you any stick today. You pretty well held the team up single handedly. Uh, oh, fish? Oh, yes. Sean O. Oh, he just dumped it. Did he just smoke that? Yeah. Oh, Struth, he's giving you some. I'm going to clear my rod out of the way. Not easy. He's coming in and clear, that's why. Oh. Yeah, big patch of kingies on the sounder. Oh, he's not terrible. You're getting taut. Oh, oh my goodness. Give him some. Thank you, last night. That's like good. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the box seat. This is the final hookup of the day. Oh. Sean Whale, racing to the surface here. Yet to get a species ID. I'm thinking kingy, mate. <laughs> We're like a kingy. Calling kingfish. I can see colour. I can see a yellow tail. Ladies and gentlemen, not big. it's not but big, but Fisherman of the Day Award. Oh, actually, you haven't touched the leader. Yeah, that's true. And, and I've seen the size of your arm, so you might not be able to. <laughs> there we go. Touch the leader. Yeah, it is. You want a hand in? Are you good? Right. He's not very big, but he'll do. Look, I made a competition very much skewed in my favour to try and clean up the. Uh, the win for the day, but I'll happily concede defeat because I've been absolutely smoked. Um, That's just a great little way to finish a cool little sesh, little morning sesh. You're getting kings like that. You're not complaining, you're stoked. That's a cool little fish. That'll be about, what, 75? Yeah, he'd be a little sashimi if you wanted him to, but look, we're not that desperate. We're just out for a bit of fun today. and uh, I've, I've had it. <laughs> look at this. Put him back. He's had, I've watched. <laughs> Hopefully you learnt something, Sammy. That's the key. That's the key. Here you go. Off you go. Whoa! Yes, that's my victory dance. <laughs> so stoked. Listen to him. Listen to him. Not that I've got any legs to stand on. I, um, look. You've had some opportunities. All right. No, we don't want to talk. I didn't have any opportunities. It just... <laughs> No, I did. I had plenty of opportunities. Blew most of them. Landed two. Happy to say I did land the biggest king. That's true. Only because Sean I got shark because he was, I think he was fishing. There's a drag setting on his reel. It's like says fairy or something like that. Fairy setting. Fairy drag. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Maybe, I don't know. It's cute though. It's very cute. But nah, well played. Well played. Anyways, we, the wind is, uh, has come up. It kind of just backed off a little bit, but... Uh, Coming. Yeah, it's coming. We're gonna we're gonna shoot out of here, but we'll have a, have a yarn to you once we get the boat back on the trailer. I reckon. Final wrap up of the day. Thoughts and considerations, <laughs> like um, where I could put my resume in, because clearly, clearly fishing is not my strong point. 
surely there's got to be some job opportunities in this four-wheel drive scene you, oh, mate, you, you talk so much about. That's anyone can do that. Well, I've already said I've got the Pajero, so <laughs> I don't know. You can't really go up from there. <laughs> you can start on the way. All right, guys. We're going to pack the boat up and get out of here. We'll, uh, we'll chat soon. Well, guys, that's, um, that was a good little morning session. We got off the water probably just in time. We yeah. were going to um, uh, do our wrap-up at the ramp, and then it started blowing about 20 knots. So we got out of there quick smart, but a couple of kingies, a couple of ambos. Mate, what a day. Look, if you're going to take something out of the day, I mean, you get, you got to see me catch a variety of species, um, you know, nearly every single one of the Sariola family, um, multiple times, in fact. So, look, if you, if you learn something, far out. That's, you've had a good day. You've had a good day. I've had fun. I've had fun. Well, I didn't learn anything. <laughs> I, I learned I can't catch fish anymore. <laughs> Um, and th this may be the last video you see for Sammy Hitsky fishing. <laughs> I'm going to change it. It's going to be Sammy Hitsky darts. So I just picked up a game of darts and, uh, true, and came through right. with a win. So I don't know. I might, might change the channel. Um, I, th I thought it was pretty cool, man. To go out just for a couple of hours in the morning, tick off a few kings. Yeah. We caught them up to about a metre. I reckon that's not bad. Yeah, bloody not oath. Bad. And, and, you know, it just goes to show how easy a little morning session. So we were back at the ramp by, I think, 11 o'clock or 10, yeah. 10.30. We hung around. We really pushed our time out. We probably didn't have to, but yeah. you know, we had a couple of live baits in the in the well and some jigs. If you know, some days the jigs will work and you won't need you won't even touch your liveys. They didn't work so well today, so we we actually needed the liveys pretty badly. And um, yeah, got a few fish, got some bendage, and then uh, got home for tea and scones. Yeah, good's that, mate. Yeah, well, guys, that's about it. Before I go though, I've got a little presentation. Now, as you know, Shawno's helped me out on these fishing sessions many times before. Um, he's also given me plenty of good advice. He's, he's a wealth of knowledge for this whole kind of industry sort of thing. So I'm going to present him with the fishing version of the baggy oh, green. Look out. It's the Sammy Hitsky Grey. His, Far out. His very own there Sammy Hitsky fishing hat. You know what this means, mate? Not Ca much. Catch rate is about to double. Well, actually, if you check... Cheryl's going to flock at the ramp when I check, come back if in. If you check the website, they actually guarantee to increase your catch rate by up to six million percent. <laughs> um, that's in well, the description. That's absolutely gold, mate. No, nah, but that's a bit of a thank you. He's, he's no, given me lots you, of help over the years. Um, apart from being a terrible friend, obviously not for that. Well, at least taught you how to catch kingfish today, so. <laughs> that's nah, cool. so that's a shout out to Sean. Um, of course, if you are into your four-wheel driving, make sure you check out Shawno's channel, Four Wheel Drive Action. They're doing videos. You're doing vi videos all the time. Every week. Yeah. yeah every week. Every week. And um, he actually does his own clothing as well, snatch clothing. So if you're into your four wheel driving or you're keen to have a little nibble, you might know. You just dip the tip and, <laughs> and see if you like and head over. Support Shawno's channel as well. He's done plenty for me. Small little fella, so make sure you give him some love as well. Um, Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, and you guys are a witness. We're just waiting for him to fix me up for the, the Uber boat this morning. Oh, that's a, um, that's a bit rough. I was um, a little bit embarrassing today, folks. I, um, as, as a bloke who prides himself having quite a few land crews on the go at any one time, um, not one of them was ready to tow the boat to the water. So. But, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a, a saying that goes around the four-wheel drive world. <laughs> I've heard that this thing here, here sooty, sooty gets the mot. Well, no. mate, Padge gets the badge. <laughs> And it got the job done, so got the boat to the ramp at least. let it be known, ladies and gentlemen, that the Sammy Hitsky fishing vehicle of choice, the Mighty Pajero, <laughs> towed the... Oh, what's your boat called? Stick face. Stick, towed, towed stick face to the ramp today it did. because the four-wheel drive experts' cars didn't work. So I'm just taking a bit of a well-earned break, mate. That's, that's all. That's all. A bit of a holiday. But no, it was good. Good trip all round. Nah, good trip all round. Good fun, guys. Um, stay tuned because obviously we're filming this during the week. But uh, I will be announcing the winner of the competition that I ran last week uh, straight after this. So thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the fishing. Thanks to Sean for joining us. See you next time. Righto, guys. I know you've all been waiting patiently for this, but it is time to pick the two winners of last week's competition. We had over 650 entries. That is massive. So thanks, everyone, for entering. Um, hopefully, going to run a lot more competitions in the future. So this is just the first of many to come. Um, before we start, best of luck everyone. Hope you come away with a win. Let's get to it. Righto guys, I'm gonna be using this website to pick the winner. It's a YouTube random comment picker. I'm just gonna chuck my video URL in here. Get comments. I've got 662 unique commenters. And the first prize I'm gonna give away is for the pack with the DTX Minnow. 
Best of luck, everyone. Uh, hope you win. Okay, our first winner is Lockie Watson. Favourite video is any with Shauno. Well, mate, you would have loved today's video, I'll tell you that much. It was just about all Shauno. Congratulations, mate, you have got the first prize pack. Well done. Okay, and time for the second prize pack winner. Who's it going to be? We've got... Team Fat Flathead. Congratulations, guys. You have won the second prize pack. Team Fat Flathead coming through with a little victory, and they're loving the Brizzy Threadfin videos. Congratulations, guys. Well done. Well, a massive congratulations to our two winners. You guys have got an absolute cracker of a prize coming your way. So hit me up on Instagram, shoot me a DM, and we'll uh, discuss all the finer points of getting your prize out here. For everyone else, unfortunately, you didn't win this time, but stay tuned. There's plenty more competitions to come. There's plenty more fishing action to come on the channel. So make sure you tune in next week as well and see what we're up to then. Until next time, guys, have fun out there. Hope you're catching a few fish, and I'll see you out the water. Until next week, have a good one.